Hi everyone, welcome back to my AP Art History channel. If you are new here, I'm Kate, an AP Art History student who is helping you and I study for the AP Art History exam. So today I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently. I'm going to go in the order of Funky Caravaggio Flips to Picasso Song. And if you don't know what this is, it stands for the focus of the piece, the content, what the piece is about, and then function, how it was used, tradition, um, what was the tradition behind what they used it for, the patron who made it, and then the setting, where was it located when they made it. So that is how I'm going to be doing today's video a little bit differently, but I hope you guys enjoy. Today we're going to be going over the piece, the Painted Elk Hide. This piece was requested. So let's start off with the focus of this piece. So this painting is a, made of a buffalo hunt by the Shoshone people. And the focus is in the center of the hide where we find a buffalo being held by a forked pole with an eagle at the very top. And this represented a ceremony that was going on. Now, the artist used the buffalo hide to paint images of buffalo while being hunted by the Shoshones on horse. On the painting, you can also see a buffalo being butchered and a lady holding a buffalo hide. The images of dancers were painted with their arms on their waist and their legs bent showing the movement of the dance. And then around them, there's men dancing, emphasizing the ceremonial aspects. And then they also painted some of their daily life activities. You can see men on horses with bow and arrows and they're hunting buffaloes as well as the women are sitting by the fire. And there are two large teepees showcasing where they set up their camp. Now onto the content of this piece. They used stencils or cutouts to make the paintings so they were really accurate. And the artist uses blue, red, green, gray, and yellow colors. The buffalo that's being raised by the fork pole with the eagle on top and the dancers surrounding them were painted as the sacred sun dance. The dancers were men dressed in feather headdresses and bustles. The dancers that participated in the ceremonies did not eat or drink for ceremonial reasons. And this sun dance was important because it was a celebration for their deity giving it giving it thanks for their provisions and making sure that they continue receiving these provisions. Now, because the sun dance was forbidden by law, he included some scenes to attract the tourists but added the wolf dance, which was later known as the grass dance, and this is the dance we see in the center of the hide. Now, onto the function of this piece. Now, this piece was used as a robe and it was worn by the warriors and it was also used as the elk hide that covered their teepees. So the Shoshones, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but the Shoshone tribes made them in various sizes so that the artwork for tourists could also draw them to the attention of the Sundance, making a greater income source from the tourists. Now on to the tradition of this piece. The Shoshone tribes were of the shamanistic religion and there were three traditions that were most prominent within their culture. The sun dance, the power of the shaman, and the vision quest. They believed that they would acquire supernatural powers through visions, which was very prominent in the shamanistic religion. Now on to the patron of this wonderful elk hide. One of the more well-known painters of the elk and animal hide was Kotsiogo, um, which I'm not sure if I'm saying that right also, but he was also known as Kadzi Cody, who was a member of the Eastern Shoshone tribe. And he was known for an animal hide paintings using chalk and red ochre as natural pigments. Where was this piece made? We go on to the last part of it, which is the setting. The Shoshone tribe was forced to move to the Wind River Reservation in western Wyoming when the United States decided to expand their territory from 1890 to 1900. And this was as an attempt to force the Shoshones out of their lands 
and the United States ended up killing 30 million buffaloes, which were critical to the Shoshone tribe at this time. And this must have been very difficult as many of them were travelers through many of the Great Plains and the Plateau regions following the buffaloes. So the Indian's life revolved around the buffaloes as a source of food, clothing, tools, and housings, and they used the buffalo in every part of their lifestyle, so none of it went to waste. That is it for the painted elk hide. I really hope this helped you guys, and I hope you really enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and comment more of your recommendations, and I hope to record them as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching.